The new use event effect hook in React makes working with the use effect hook so much easier and it makes dealing with side effects much better. If you want to become an expert in React, this is a hook you're going to need to master. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream projects sooner. And in this video, we're talking about the use effect event hook. Now, currently, this is a very new hook, and it's actually only in the experimental version of React. So if you want to get started using this hook right now, you're going to need to go over to your package JSON and make sure you download the experimental version of React and React DOM. And also to be able to use the plugin for the React Hooks ESLint, you're also going to want to have the experimental version of that. And then in your ESLint, just make sure you're using that plugin like I am here. That way you can actually see the effects of this hook taking effect. Now, another thing I want to mention before we start diving into the example of how this works is you need to have a really good understanding of how use effect works before even looking at this hook. So if you want to learn about use effect or any of the other React hooks, I have a full course that covers every single React hook. I'm going to link it down in the description for you. It's completely free, so go check it out if you're interested in any of the hooks, especially the use effect hook. So now we can finally start talking about what this hook is and why you want to use it. So let's take a look at this really simple code here. We have a chat room component which takes in a URL and some login options which we're going to look at in a little bit. And then it has a use effect. This is the main thing we're going to be focusing on where it connects to the room. And whenever you do connect to the room, we're just logging that out to the screen by this onConnected method, which all it does is call a function and log out some message. It's going to log it to the console, to the screen. It doesn't matter. It just calls a function that does something. And then we also disconnect from the room whenever we're done. So essentially all this code does is every time our URL changes, we're reconnecting to a new room with that URL and disconnecting from the old room. And then when we do actually have our connection, we're just calling this on connected method to log this out to the screen or just do anything. It doesn't matter. It's just some type of side effect for when we're done connecting to our room. Now, as this code is, there are no problems and it works just as you expect. But what happens if I wanted to take into account these logging options? As you can see, this log connection takes in some options. So if I wanted to pass those options in as the second parameter here, you're going to notice immediately I get a problem. You see this yellow underline right here for my URL, and it says my React hook for use effect is missing a dependency on the onConnected function. And that's because my onConnected function has this logging options that it's using inside of it, and I don't have any of that as a dependency. So what I could do is I could just take this, move it down here as a dependency, and then if I save, you're going to notice we get another error because this, because this function right here is recreated every single time our component runs, so it's going to cause our use effect to run every single time. Obviously not what we want, and it gives us two solutions. We can move it inside of the use effect, or we can wrap it inside of a use callback. So let's try the first example of moving this inside of our use effect. So if we move it inside of here, you're now going to see we get another problem down here where it says it's missing the dependency for logging options. This is a huge problem because we don't want this use effect to run every time our options for logging changes. We only want this to run when our URL changes. So obviously this solution doesn't work because it requires us to put this logging options inside here. And now if we do that, you can see it solves all of the errors that we had before. But again, now this use effect is running every time my URL changes or my logging option changes, which is not what I want. So let's go and look at the second option that we had. So if I bring this out here, I put this on connected back to where we had it. And now we can see that we need to wrap this inside of a use callback. And I can immediately tell you that this is not going to work as we want. If I wrap this in a use callback by just taking this entire function, we're just going to move it inside of here. There we go. Make sure that we have this as an arrow. And I'm going to say const on connected is equal to that. Just close that off. And now if we add our dependencies, you can see our only dependency is the logging options. But again, we're going to run into another problem because now every time our logging options changes, this function is recreated, which is a dependency for this use effect, which means our use effect is going to run again. And that's obviously not something we want. So in all the scenarios that are so far presented to us by React, we're forcing our use effect to run on times that we don't want it to run because we only want it to run when the URL changes and nothing else. This is where this new use effect event comes in. So let's just get this back to how we had it before, just a few backspaces to where we just had a simple function that was doing this. There we go. Get rid of all of this code that we had here. And now we just have our function and we can remove this right here. So we're just missing that one dependency. So in order to fix this, we need to import that use effect event. So we can say use effect event. But since we're in the experimental version of React, we actually need to import the experimental underscore use effect event. And I'm just going to rename it as use effect event so we can use it as normal. So now what I can do is I can wrap this function in that call. So we can say const on connected is equal to calling that and just putting the function directly inside of it. So we're just going to copy the function in there just like this and get rid of this line right here. And now you can see when we save, no longer do we have any ESLint errors. Everything is working just fine. And this use effect is only going to run when the URL changes. 
So how exactly does this work and why does it work as it does? Essentially, the idea behind this use effect event is that whenever you have something that is like an event, so normally like you have an event, you click on a button, it does something. It's not tied to anything React related. It's just saying when you click an event, fire off this event and do whatever it is. The same idea happens with these use effect events, but we're saying an effect, it's possible for an effect to have some type of event that you want to do. In our case, when our room connects, we want to do some type of logging, but we don't want our use effect to be affected by all of the things in this event because it's entirely separate. It's its own little encapsulated thing. So this use effect event gives us a function that can have any data we want inside of it, for example, this logging options, and our use effect does not need to depend on or rely on that data. It doesn't even know what this event does. It just knows, hey, whenever this thing happens, we wanna fire off this event. I don't care what is inside that event. And the way that this actually works and is able to work properly is that whenever this function is called, all the data inside of it, for example, logging options and everything else that you're using is always going to be up to date. So whatever your latest props is for logging options, that's what's going to be passed into this use effect event. So really the main use case you want for this is when you have a use effect that you only want to run when certain dependencies change because that's the entire idea of a use effect, but you want to use other things inside that use effect to you know, do something like logging or whatever it is, then you're going to want to use an effect event because my use effect should only run when my URL changes, but I also need access to other data inside of there. For example, our logging options. So I'm going to wrap all the code that uses those logging options inside this event, and I'm just going to fire off that function as if it was an event. And now my use effect doesn't even care that it uses this logging options because this is an effect event. Now you may also think, okay, this is great. I can just not even use the URL here, not even pass it in. For example, I could just do this and it's going to give me the exact same result because this URL is going to be updated. This is a bit of a problem though, because we know that we want our use effect to run every time the URL changes, any of the data we have in the dependency array, we should pass into these use effect event if we actually need to use it. So in our case, we should be passing in the URL in both of these scenarios. And the reason for that is because your URL could change between the time that the room is calling on connected and the time that this function here is being called. So for example, I call this use effect twice really quickly back to back, one time with a you know the first URL and one time with the second URL. By the time it gets to my very first on connected call right here for connecting to the first room, my URL has already changed to the second URL. And that's why I'm passing in the URL here. Otherwise, if I didn't pass in the URL and I was just using the one from props, it would give me the second URL in both cases because I changed my URL before actually calling this on connected method right here from connecting to the first room. So again, that's why you should always pass in the things that you are depending on inside of your use effect. This is a bit of a more of a niche use case because you're not going to run into it all the time, but just keep that in mind. I know this hook is relatively niche and it may be difficult to know when you actually need to use this hook. And really the best way to think of when to use this hook is if you have a use effect and you know you want it to run whenever certain sets of data change, in our case, the URL but you want to use other data that is not the things that it depends on inside of the use effect, then any of the code that is using that extra data that should not recall the use effect, those need to be wrapped inside of a use effect event. Otherwise, it's going to force you to add them as dependencies for your use effect. And obviously that's not something you want because if our logging options change, we don't wanna to reconnect to the room. That doesn't make any sense. Now, I know this is a relatively advanced hook, but hopefully this made sense. And if you want to learn all of the other React hooks out there, I have the completely free React Hook Simplified course. It's linked down in the description below. I highly recommend you check it out. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.